Hey, what's up guys? So we're in beautiful southern China in Nanning, Guangxi, and we're about to taste eight of the most weird but delicious fruits. So we spent the evening last night going to a night market called Zhongshang Lu here in Nanning. So we got a majority of this fruit there last night. So we hope you enjoy this video taste testing these exotic fruits. So these are all pretty common and pretty popular fruit down here in southern China. And you can get them around China, but obviously the farther away you go from southern China, maybe the prices go up higher because a lot of this stuff is grown locally here in Guangxi. All right, so the number eight fruit we're gonna start with is the wax apple. And this comes in a little bit different size, color, uh, but this one is uh, yellow white. So this one's really soft. It's not very sweet though, what do you think? Yeah, it's not sweet. Kind of like melon. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a like a cucumber, not a cucumber. Yeah, kind of like a mix between a cucumber and uh, like a melon. Mm. So it's just really soft, almost like a pear, but just not very sweet. All right, so the number seven fruit we're gonna try next is the jackfruit. And when you see jackfruit, when it's actually the plant, they cut it open and inside it has the jackfruit fruit itself. And so it's a little bit of work for them to pick it apart. So when you're in the market and you're buying it, they'll actually be cutting it open and tearing off these little pieces and then they'll weigh this and this is what you buy. And this one is kind of strange because it's almost kind of stringy and then inside they have a really large seed. Mm. What do you think of it? Mm, sweet and it smells good. When you're walking through the market and you can smell this, it's, it's almost like a candy perfume smell. Mm. It's super sweet. So for me, this is like one of the best smelling fruits out of, out of all of these. This one just smells so delicious. And I think it still tastes good, but it actually smells better than it tastes, I think. All right, so moving on to number six. This is... Longan. Longan. Mm -hmm. And this is a really interesting fruit. You can see it comes on these branches, and there are all these little brown, yellow balls. And then when you open it up, it kind of tears open. It has a thin skin on it. So you pull off that skin, and inside is, it's really interesting. It's almost like a grape. Like if you were to take a grape and peel the skin off of like a purple or a green grape. What do you think? Mm. I think it tastes like a grape. Sweet, I think it's sweet. I mean, it's sweet. For me, it just kind of tastes like a grape. So inside they have a pretty large seed. Yeah, after the, this season, they will dry it to save it, to cook soup. All right, now we're taking a look at number five fruit. This is called the loquat. And these are an interesting looking fruit. You peel the skin on the outside. And this one's really soft. I mean, it really, really reminds me of like a little mango. What do you think? Yes, you almost say it's mango. It's almost like a, yeah, like a baby mango. Yeah. So you peel the skin off. It's a little bit, a little bit tedious to get the, to get the skin off. Like it. Yeah, it's good. It's just it's really not too sweet. Yeah, it's really juicy, not very sweet. Mm -hmm. Kind of like pear. Yeah, yeah, kind of like a, you know, like a peach. To me, it tastes like a peach. Mm. It's that that soft, fleshy material or the texture. All right, moving on to number four fruit. This is called the lychee. So these ones we got the other night. So the colors change pretty fast. But here you can see in the market when you buy these, they're really bright red, green, yellow. And they have and, a hair. And a hair, it almost looks like hair on the outside. So it's really interesting fruit. Um, when I, you squirt it all over me. I didn't try this one for a while because I was kind of nervous of what it was or if it, if it would be like make me sick or if it was poisonous. But as you can see, opening it up, it's really crazy. You open this shell on the outside and inside, is again kind of like kind of like the long gun fruit inside you open it up and it's mm -hmm. kind of like uh, if you took a grape and peeled the skin off of a grape yeah lychee and long gun in uh, south china is very popular mm -hmm. yeah you see so, this a lot yeah so to the north china is more expensive mm. because for this temperature it's good for growth this tastes a little bit sour yeah this one's good it's really soft but it's juicy really juicy a little sweet but not super sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to number three fruit, we've got the mangosteen. And mangosteen, I think, is it's one of the most interesting fruits you have, I've ever seen. Uh, when I first came to China, I saw these. I didn't really think much of it. I thought it was some kind of weird vegetable or some kind of uh, weird looking turd, I don't know. And it's you can see it's like kind of this brown, purple color, almost looks like a rock. And the leaves on top are kind of dry, kind of hard. Uh, but this is pretty popular, you see this a lot. 
The shell of it is really weird. It's almost like this fibrous, mushy shell. It looks like it's really hard. It looks like it's like a rock, but it's actually not so hard once you break it open. And then inside, you can see there's this, these white pods, like white fruit. So it's juicy and sweet. And this is probably one of my, mo my, my most favorite fruits down here in southern China. I mean, it's so sweet. It's like, yeah, super soft. There's no seed in it. Yes. Right? And nowadays, mangosteen juice is more and more popular. Mm. We, we, we sell to Western countries a lot. Mm. Yeah, it's just super soft, almost like, kind of like cotton candy, with, like juicy cotton candy to me. I don't know. What does it taste like to you? Yeah, I like this sweet. For me, it's not too, too much sweet. Mangosteen is really delicious. I really recommend if you see this, don't be afraid, get this. All right, moving on to number two fruit. Now we're gonna take a look at the dragon fruit. And the dragon fruit is also one of my favorite fruits down here. And they have different, a couple different kinds. These ones with the long tail are typically the white kind. So here you can see the white. And it's really interesting, this soft uh, flesh inside the fruit. And it's all white. It has all these little white seeds. Eating this is pretty straightforward. You just have this. And it's almost like you have a little bowl. And you can just scoop it out and almost eat it like it's ice cream. So now I'll try the purple kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one tastes a little bit different. It almost has like a more earthy, kind of an earthy flavor. But I wouldn't say it's more sweet necessarily. They both taste pretty similar. So this is a good fruit to, to eat if you're having um, digestive, problem. digestive problems, pooping problems when you're down in southern China. No, I'm not in southern China. Anywhere. <laughs> okay. Anywhere that you can find dragon fruit, this will help keep you regular. All right, so the number one fruit that we save for last, because for me, this is not one of my favorite, this is durian. And this is an infamous, uh, you know, famous fruit, especially down here in Southern China. Uh, do they grow this in Guangxi? Yeah, Guangxi. They grow. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste and let you know what it, what it uh, tastes like. You go, you go first. I'll watch you. So she's grown up eating this here in Guangxi. Um, for me, I've had this in the Philippines and in China. And you know, the first time you have durian, for me, it just tasted horrible. Um, mm. It's it smells so good. And you can see here when they're cutting open this fruit here in the market, the shell is really hard and sharp. So when they cut it open, there's just a few of these almost like big fruit pods that are inside the shell. All right, I'm not really looking forward to this one. You look really enjoyed. Mm. So this one's just strange to me. It's weird. It's almost like a kind of like a custard. I think it depends on the fruit too, you know, how fresh it is, what the quality of, of it is. But it kind of goes from being sweet to almost tasting, to me it tastes like petrol, like diesel, or I don't know, like, like, like liquid fuel. How's the third time? Mm, not better. <laughs> so this one, yeah, again, it's not horrible. I think the smell is worse than the taste. You know, it's, you smell it, it smells pretty pungent but the taste of it is not so bad. What do you think it tastes like? I like it, so... What, do you, what does it taste like? The it's compare... sweet. Uh, especially the smell, only the smell problem. All right, so we finished the eight fruits. So to sum the video up, uh, my favorite personally is the mangosteen. I think these ones, they look bizarre, but they taste so sweet. It's almost like just eating candy. Uh, they're a little bit on the pricey side, but definitely well worth it. What's your favorite? Uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit? Yeah. So her favorite would be the jackfruit. Yeah, so I can why eat is it, it why is for it? three meals every all three, day. All three meals? Yes. So why, why do you what do you like about it? Just super sweet? Yeah, the smells good and mm. sweet. Not too sweet. Yeah, it's a little bit sweet, but it kind of smells like candy. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I upload new adventure travel videos every week. And remember, life's about the journey, not just the destination. Okay, so funny side note. Uh, while I'm shopping for fruit, I'm walking down to one of these back alleys and I realized one of my shoes is ripping so I found this nice lady and so right now she's patching up my one of my New Balance shoes. It's some just random alley here looking for fruit. <laughs>